Hello and welcome to the first episode of Vox Mundi, in which the world has been sundered by mystical forces and heresy runs rampant. So I asked you, my viewers, for goals, and I have already received a few, though I would appreciate it if you sent me even more goals after this first episode, as in this episode we will pick a random count and play for a while to see how the religious situation will end up in the world. So, let's see where we will observe these initial few years. As the Sheikh Salah Hadin of Tel Bashir. Alright, let us do this. Let us load into the game and take a look. Alright, so we have this county right here. We're actually not Sunni. We are Levantine and Mephisite. This is going to change after we take the God has abandoned us decision. As you can see, there is a few percent chances there, and they all lead to an interesting outcome. And here we have the outcome. The people abandon their faith. The world has ended. Every man and woman in a ruling position has been struck down as by divine retribution leaving the world in complete chaos. We're the heirs to their ashes. The people of these lands are blaming their old religious ways for having tempted them into sin, allowing opportunistic preachers to gather enormous followings. Let us abandon the false religion of old. And we become Paulician, which is actually an orthodox heresy, if I am not mistaken. So... We are now Polition, along with our entire court, I do believe. Um, the AIs will take the decision as I start time. So um, let us pick an ambition, just a regular one, for example, uh, amass wealth. And then take a look at the world as it changes before our eyes. Right, the Order of St. Anthony has been founded for the Miaphysite faith. I believe that is the only holy order that is actually formable. Oh, someone has declared war on us. That was unexpected. Right, so we got declared war upon by... Let's see here. A Levantine Samaritan. That's a Jewish heresy. Interesting, you are here. Our immediate neighbors... Oh man, we have nothing. We need to hire mercenaries if possible. The Turkic band should be fine. That should give us enough troops to take them on. Hopefully. And the Manichean faith is triumphant. The, ad the adherents of the Zoroastrian faith have, st have steadily dwindled to the point where Ma Manichean believers are in the majority. Excuse my stuttering there. Um, and that is a thing that can happen with any religion, because it's entirely random. I'm not even sure if... <laughs> wow, look at this. Wow, there's a clear Jewish majority here. Um, Judaism has a very tiny chance of appearing everywhere in the world. Um, but the chance is, as I said, very low. So it's going to be interesting to see if a Jewish kingdom can pop up. Probably not. Who knows? Uh, we can unfortunately not lose any gold right now, because we barely have enough. Hmm, yeah sure, I'll go to this courtier's bedchamber. I do not have an heir yet, so that will be prudent. Damn, how could she resist me? Right, come on now. By the way, I have added in a mod that changes uh, the way you expel jewelry. Just because the standard way is kind of gamey, to be honest. I do not really know exactly what it changes, but I read the description of the mod, and it said that it rebalanced it depending on, for example, realm size. Right, let's see if we can take these guys out. Uh, no. Apparently not. <laughs> wow, this is not going our way, is it? Hmm. We might even have to take a loan here. Wow, this is going really badly. But then again, it is expected. And then we hire... Let's see here, these guys. 
That should put us over the limit of what's needed to defeat these guys. We now have two counts that are attacking us. Well, this attack should go better than the last one, hopefully. Uh, yeah, if they split up their troops, that would be excellent for us. Right, so that's one victory. Yeah, let them go to Tel Bashir. We will uh, counter them in our homelands. Hey, stop running. Excellent, so that is one victory to us. Uh, I suppose we should go and siege Aleppo before our money runs out. We could probably assault it, I hope. Um, yeah, it will, it will work. And then we need to pay less for uh, the mercenaries as well. What we need to do here is to make one of these guys surrender so he gives us money. I, at least I believe he will give me money. Oh, uh, no, actually, I will only get prestige. He's attacking me with the... One of the Cosus Bellis I added in. The Aleponian Conquest of Sheikh Salahaddin of Tel Bashir. The other guy is also using the same Cosus Belli. So, unfortunately, we will get no money. But we will get... Uh, prestige from this. Uh, you surrender... Oh, he actually pays money. Alright. Not a lot of money, but still a little bit. Um, right. The thing is, should we attack Aleppo? We probably should, to be honest. Who is this? Levantine Samaritan. Ransom her? No. Let her rot. And I got a son, Yassar. Alright, well, now we have things under control. Uh, during these first years, a lot of duchies will form all over the world. I was thinking of playing maybe 10 years or something to give us an idea of what uh, the world will look like. Look, here's a, a duchy already. Um, and the thing is, the first, like, two or three um, counties you conquer will switch to your religion automatically to simulate the unstable religious situation. So this guy should have two um, identical uh, religious provinces soon enough. Though it is hindered if any province has a um, ruler in it of another religion. Then you need to get rid of that ruler first. Right, we're running out of money. So, um, should we attack this like this? Yeah, maybe. Let's do it. 100%. Right, enforce demands. Yes. Um, now I am very tempted to just attack this guy again. Subjugate him simple reason that we have the mercenaries raised. So, I suppose we should. Conquer ruler. Get over there. Bring uh, these troops with you. Excellent. And as we assaulted before, it is now almost uh, no men guarding the garrison. Which means that we can do this. Oh, and this one is actually quite heavily guarded, but he gives up. So, we have successfully defeated Sheikh Musin of Hama, of the Fat Aid dynasty. Hmm. Except. So now we gained this um, Sheikhdom here. And uh, I'm thinking, should we attack this guy as well? By the way, holy shit, my stewardship is absolutely abysmal. This guy, do you have any allies? No. But your levies are... Wow. No, current levy. 400. Right. Conquer ruler. Taste my blade. Or blades. Get over here and do a little dance. Alright. So, uh, we should be able to create the Duchy of Tel Bashir, if we take this uh, province. Which will be a titular duchy, but still a duchy nonetheless. By the way, this guy has uh, suddenly switched to being pagan. Actually, I think this guy... No, actually not. I think someone conquered him and took his duchy. 
which is actually quite fun to see. Um, ambitious, please. Oh, damn. Never get what we want. Ambitious would have given us um, enough domestic size to not be over it. Or domain size, it's called. I just have uh, the word mesne stuck in my head because it's how I thought it was pronounced before I learned real pronunciation. Right. This should soon be ours. We are running out of money, so I hope he gives up. Yes, he did. He did, indeed. Right, so let's get rid of the mercenaries and hope no one attacks us. That would be incredibly bad. So, I have lowered the cost of creating titles by quite a bit. But this one still costs 181, and that's because it's titular, and I do believe titular titles cost more in general. Um, though I lowered the cost to make creating them more likely for the AI. Um, so, does anyone here have money, is the question. <laughs> I'm thinking of liberating some cash. Um, no, it's not been long enough. I can make some of these guys switch religion though, which is fine. Only one so far. Yeah, that guy doesn't like me. Well, eventually, in time. Right, so we owe the Jews a lot of money. Now we're earning money again. Alright. Let's hope no one pounces on this opportunity and attacks us. Which they, of course, immediately did. This is actually pretty bad for us. And I do believe we need to liberate money to survive this. It's a very ruthless start, I have to say. Um, yeah, 60, 60. Oh, by the way, I haven't even placed these guys. Right, uh, train troops, I believe? Yeah, sure. Collect like taxes? Absolutely. S uh, spy network? No. Scheme. Alright, I should have um, made these guys suppress revolts to increase the arrest chance. Oh well. Uh, by the way, as you can see, these uh, provinces have not switched yet, but they will eventually switch to my religion. Um, yeah. I can't survive this without mercenaries. So let's uh, banish this guy. Let's banish this guy, if possible. Which it indeed was. Banish. Do we have someone here we can banish? Can we imprison you? Yes, banish. And then we have one last guy that we can imprison and banish. 60%. Okay. Ah, damn it. He raised his flag in rebellion. Well, we have some money. Can we get rid of this guy, maybe? Yes, we can. Banish. We need the money. It's just imperative to our survival right now. And banish. Right. This means that we can hire another mercenary band. So let's see, they have 900 troops, um, yeah, the Allen Raiders, maybe? No, the Bulgarian Band, definitely. And we can uh, start uh, giving these things out again. So our domain isn't incredibly over its limit, more than necessary, that is. Right, where are you going now? Uh, okay, so I immediately inherited one of the things I gave away. Did I? Oh no, the guy who revolted died. <laughs> okay. Well, um, at least I think so. Okay, so they are conquering Aleppo. Wait, is this mine? Did I just... Oh, of course, I raised uh, all the levies from all the holdings I had. Of course, I... Uh... Holy crap, that's a lot of troops. Okay, I gained wrath, which is... It's a great uh, thing to have, to be honest. 
Uh, what does this mean? This means that we can raise... Well, none anymore because we uh, um, used our... Uh, or we gave away all the holdings we revoked. Those were giving us all of these troops. Should have thought about that before I gave them away. Right, so um, I guess we could just siege this. Normally. And we could also create this title. Which costs a lot of gold, but we can get rid of the mercs. Like that. And never dismiss this army. Which should make us go... Or stay in the positive, maybe? Who is this? Yeah, make him disappear. Damn. And yes, we're earning money, so we can create this title. So now we have the Emirate of Tel Bashir. Impressive, under the Polition Faith. I'm uh, curious why these haven't flipped yet. They should have flipped by now, but... Hey, I know the event works. Perhaps it just takes a while. I think it's set to 12 months or something. But it usually happens immediately. Right, by the way, my son, Yasar ibn Salahadin, is, uh, well, he's healthy. By the way, when it comes to orthodoxy, which one is in the lead? I believe Orthodox still is in the lead. Let's take a look here at religions and sort by size. Uh, Catholicism and Catharism is sharing the first place here. Followed by Waldensians. The Lollards are losing out and the Fraticellis are definitely not going to capture the, the top spot anytime soon. Uh, Polition is actually in the lead. I think we need to have ten mo five more provinces than uh, the Orthodoxy. So four more and Polition will be the new faith or the new Orthodoxy of our particular branch. Right, I... Ah, here we go. I have apparently forgotten to write some uh, localization for that. But that is the event that switches religion. I will uh, write localization for that event after this episode. I've, it just slipped my mind for some reason. Right, you guys, you give up. Enforce demands. Yes. Excellent. So I will not dismiss this massive army. It will keep people from attacking me. Um... Yeah. Yeah, at least for a while. I need more money. That is uh, what I really need here. Right, so that is two provinces of four that we needed. So uh, two more, and Polition will become the Orthodoxy. Do we see any trends anywhere? Well, I do see a trend of heavy Catholicism here in central Germany, while the Jews have disappeared in favor of Lollards. Uh, Scandinavia looking pretty Norse to be honest and we have a Slavic presence here along with uh, Sumanuska presence up there of course we do have some Hellenic provinces here in France but none have banded together right well is there any other large independent realms anywhere you can actually check that here for ease of access realm size Right, Cairo is the largest one right now, and they haven't even created a duchy yet. Interesting. Egyptian Yazidis might see um, a duchy of Cairo soon enough. Right, a new son, and he's my heir, which means that we have probably been randomed into the ultimogeniture succession, which is weird. But hey fine with it. Right, so everyone hates me. Um, hold your take, I suppose. Um, well, what can you do? My spy master should probably like me, though. Seems like a good thing. He's of my religion. Excellent. And here we go, the Polition Faith Triumphant. 
the adherents of the Orthodox faith have steadily dwindled. Good, good. This should help us a bit. Not much, but a little bit, at least. Right, so our ambition was to amass wealth, right? Yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Let's go for improved stewardship. Because uh, my plan didn't really work out, seeing as we've spent more than 500 ducats on mercenaries alone. Um, let's see here. Give him patronage. Uh, sure. Costs a bit of money, but whatever. So we have a little realm carved out here. A Levantine Polition Realm. With, uh, yeah. 100% Polition adherence. But after this, I believe no more counties will convert by event. So let's play for five more years and then take a look at the world. Oh, look at Nafti here. Uh, the Emirate of Tripoli. They have expanded quite heavily and now they're back to being Muslim. Yazidi. After having a brief pagan period. Is this guy pagan? No, he's monothelite. Any other pagans here? Yeah, this guy is pagan. The Sheikdom of Aka. Majid al-Baghdadi. I guess that means from Baghdad. If I'm not mistaken. Right, we're earning a bit of money. Should probably increase a tax or two, maybe. City taxation. Nah. I guess it's fine, as is. As is. Ooh, we have Al Jazeera here. Next to us. They are... Let's see here. Sikri Muslim. They might uh, actually create a duchy right next to us, which is kind of scary. Especially... Oh, they actually did. The duchy of Al Jazeera. Not surprisingly enough. Uh, Jaminid. Interesting. Right, let's hope that they don't attack us. I would like to repay the Jews, if possible. Uh, it's not a commander. Am I a commander? Oh, and I... Oh, I can't get rid of myself as a commander either. Damn. So, if we expel the jury, we owe... Okay, our loan will be removed, and we will get expelled the Jews until whenever. National tax modifier minus 10, an increased piety and increased temple vassal opinion. Uh, let's try that, actually. It would be fun to just see how this new um, modified event system works. Alright, and we gained 100 gold. That is less than uh, it usually is, I believe. Yeah. Alright, well, at least we don't have to uh, put up with uh, paying them back. I think we would be unable to uh, expel the Jews if Aleppo was actually still Jewish. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Right, so our domain size just increased because I guess we got some tech upgrades. So we should probably give something away, maybe to uh, our son. Or our second son. Maybe the first one, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, my vassals hate me. Actually, no. It's only one. This guy, and he hates me because I'm a super tyrant. <laughs> well, let's plot to kill that guy because he dislikes me. Alright. Let's see. Not quite enough. And uh, we would not get enough power, unfortunately. Right. Well, this means that we could dismiss this army for now, as we can hire a new mercenary army if needed, if someone would attack us. And now uh, they have armies of up to 3,000 men, which is quite intimidating, seeing as we can raise 700 at the very moment. Um, let's see here. He is now my new spy monster. Well, uh, sure. Whatever. Oh, it's the guy who hates me. No, you're not being my spy monster. Sorry. Should have checked that. 
He just wants to become my spy master so he can kill me. Right, we have Kandar up here. Being led by this uh, Turkish woman, Tengri. Interesting, Kandar in uh, EU 4, I think it is, as well as EU 3, usually starts out here in uh, the Duchy of Silesia. Interesting, interesting. They are now up here in the steppe instead. And things seem to be quite calm here. Actually, no. Champagne is formed. We do have Saxony and Nisani and a few others. Well, let's uh, care for our own a bit here before we take a look up there. We will end the episode by looking everywhere and just assessing the situation. Uh, who is this? This is Al Bihri. Levantine Sikri. I feel quite unsettled having all of these Muslims right on my border and no Christians having formed a duchy up here. They are way too slow. And here we have the Count of Jerusalem just going nuts. There's no one here. Well, Thessalonica has to... I guess they like each other too much to, to fight. Maybe. Who knows? No. Stop it. I'm not giving you the chance to murder me. You traitorous old man. Uh, Baghdad is slowly going to the left here. To the west. Through uh, Deir and Drus. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Two more years. Will we be able to do something? Yeah, sure. We can start educating our children. Um, Alright. Should we declare another war? Maybe. This guy has no allies. And he's a kid. With 1,000 troops to raise. Uh, which is exactly the same as us. Alexandretta, then. This guy. Can raise less. Actually, currently 600. Don't forget to look at the currently available um, levies all the time. This guy has 500. Ah, and Antioch, that's a holy site as well. Yeah, we should definitely take that. So let's see, conquer ruler. He's unallied, right? He, yes, he is. Um, conquer ruler. Grab the troops. There's 500 troops, which means that we have double that right attack and we're winning excellent let's destroy his troops and I lost slow fever which I didn't even know I had I guess that is excellent oh so there's typhoid fever in Antioch perhaps not the best time to, uh, to siege it but hey what can you do? Beggars can't be choosers. Um, alright. Can we do anything interesting here? No, not really. Hmm. So. After this episode, I will start actually doing some of the challenges that I have been given. Um, the first challenge will probably be to um, unite Ireland under a Sunni count, or I don't know, perhaps another kind of Muslim. Uh, which will be interesting. Uh, by the way, what is this guy doing? Ah, mad, arrest him! Let's uh, put someone else in the court chaplain seat. You will do. Uh, or... Um, I will try to do an Indian Suomenesco Republic in the southern tip. It all depends on my mood, to be honest. Uh, but then again, if someone comes up with a great and very interesting challenge after this episode, I might consider that too. Alright, let's take this guy's land. So, I cannot hold all of this. Uh, which means that I probably should give some stuff to my sons. So you, do you want Antioch? Yeah, you can have Antioch. 
And I have another son. You, do you want... Um, the Hama? Here, here you go. Take Hama. We have no court chaplain. Uh, invite holy man. Uh-huh. Apparently not holy enough. Now then. Okay. Well then. No holy man. Right, so... Soon it will be 1076, which means that I will save, and in the next episode, we will play as something else. Right, let's take it slow here. Alright, let's take a look at the world before we end the episode. Great Britain! I see no duchies here at all, but Moray seems to have two provinces. Actually, that's very slow. Not a single duchy? Really? Scandinavia, here we have Welland. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's quite big. They have uh, three provinces. We have Gotland here, being all alone on their island, but they have a duchy title, so that is all fine. Uh, nothing seems to be happening here. We do have a duchy in Lithuania, a Polishian one, which I am pleased to see. Moravia, and the ones we saw before. And we have the Duchy of Paris. Let's take a look at the independent uh, states here and see. Alright, so Baghdad is the most powerful one. The one that was next to us. Followed by Tripoli. Also near us. Schelland. Oh yeah, the Danes have it going on. Figwig. Tel Bashir. That's us. Cairo. Aral. Transylvania. Paris. Tigris. Mosul. Presporok. Ferrara. Kufa. Granada. Saxony. Etc. Uh, so let's take a look at the religious situation. Paris. Lollard. Alright, well. I guess that Lollardism will... Uh, maybe prevail. Actually, it's way too early to say. There's still a lot of different religions here. Fraticellis, lots of Catholics. Uh, let's take a look at the religion. Uh, Ledger. Size. Well, Catharism is actually the one that seems to be winning. 78 to 77 provinces, but Waldensian is close. Lollard is way behind, actually. And uh, seems like Queen Vigdis here is actually orthodox. Hmm, not sure if I like that. Polition is the new orthodoxy. Don't you know that? Apparently not. Italy seems to be mainly Cathar, and there's some Hellenic elements down here, together with the Jews and Fraticellis. It's very mixed. When the Duchess form, this will even out a bit more. But for now, it is confetti. Here we have in the steps, uh, everything. Basically the steps can get all of the religions in the game, almost. They can't get stuff like Hinduism or, or Norse, you know, stuff like that. Impossible. Um, anyone in India forming a duchy? Seems like the answer to that question is no. There's not even a single uh, two-province count. Damn, that's slow as well. Seems like everything is focused down here in the Middle East, with Baghdad and Nafti and... Uh, and us, and the Yemenids, and... Yeah, you know, all these guys. And Greece is also completely empty. There's some Mephsites. How oh, is uh, Ethiopia looking, by the way? Monophysites, some Jews. Orthodoxy, Politians, Messalians. They usually become the Orthodoxy quite quickly in my test games. Anyway, so, um, I have showed you the world. And, uh, as you can see, it's ripe for the taking. So if you have any more suggestions for uh, goals or starts, Please tell me in the comments. And uh, I believe in the next episode I will play as an Irish Sunni Count here in Ireland. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.